guys, this is the morning after surgery. Feeling all right, starting to feel sore. So it seems like the anesthesia is wearing off, but not too bad. I'm about to head to my first follow-up appointment. So I'll show you what I look like, uh, what I got going on. I have drains in, so got those to take care of, which Nick is emptying for me. grenades so not too bad um, yeah a little bit of blood so they collect whatever's in the pocket which is a good thing anyway here's our day here's where they just drew you know on me <laughs> so uh, still got that but you know you can't shower for like a few days so um, I'll probably get that off later. <laughs> Doing good so far. Hey guys, we're on day two of recovery. And um, I was up at five. I slept good last night. Um, made a mistake of taking my antibiotic on an empty stomach. Not even thinking, because I hadn't been eating that much. <laughs> um, and ended up tossing cookies, so that wasn't any fun. And my throat was already sore from uh, the tube uh, being down my throat, so that was, you know, no fun. But other than that, I feel pretty good, pretty sore. I'm um, starting to feel, you know, all the things, but still not too bad. Still pretty good. Um, yeah, I had a visitor yesterday. My aunt came, bought cupcakes and nice candles. And my mom and dad sent soup today. So that was really nice. And um, yeah, so I'm feeling, feeling pretty good. Just gonna rest today and uh, continue healing. Hey guys, today is January 20th. Um, got my drains out. Well, I got one out on Monday and I got the other one, he wanted it to stay for one more day. Um, so I got that one out yesterday. So I'm um, feeling much better without those. Those things are really annoying. Um, and it's because they're through your armpit, it's like, you know, hard to move. You feel like a T-Rex <laughs> a bit. So, um, so yeah, those are gone and uh, things are looking good. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, he did say don't do anything crazy. <laughs> I do feel like I still have like my throat. I don't know, like my voice is a little weak. Um, and I still think that's probably from the surgery and of course the effects from uh, the anesthesia. So, I mean, I'm telling you that stuff just blow, this just totally wrecks my system. Um, so that's, that's probably been the hardest part about this recovery so far is, um, the aftermath of the anesthesia. So just to let you know about the pain, um, I stopped taking pain medicine, um, the second day the day after surgery because after I got sick um, from, you know, not taking or not eating, making that mistake of taking the medication on empty stomach and that made me sick. It just, I was kind of like done with it. So, <laughs> um, so, and honestly the pain has not been bad. I do have high tolerance for pain, but <clears throat> even with that, I, I just don't think it's that bad. So if you've ever had implants, you know, that's pretty painful. I think that this is, um, this, at least for me, has been an easier recovery than getting implants. Now with the anesthesia, the anesthesia really wrecked, wrecked me yesterday. <clears throat> I'm going to blame it on that. I honestly don't know if it's from that, but today I'm, I'm feeling good. You know, thank, 
thank goodness for my husband. He's been just taking care of all the things, you know, taking the kids to school and picking them up and, you know, he cooks and all that stuff. Like, he's just amazing. So, um, I haven't had to do any of that kind of uh, thing, those kind of things. Um, but, um, I think, I think today I'm going to try to start working a little bit, um, office work. <laughs> Um, maybe do a little editing. I'm getting back on social media and all that stuff. I really did take a break because I just want to be very clear minded before I started doing things because I'm pretty sure I'd probably be throwing some typos in there. I might have said something that I didn't want to say or whatever. So I did take a break on it. Uh, things are looking good. I go back for a follow up next week. Hey guys, today is January 30th. Just giving you a little update. Um, since the surgery, still not able to do workouts um, fully, but I am starting to do some movements, a lot of uh, like stretching, range of motion and stuff, and some light body weight squats to get everything kind of moving. Still a little sore, not even trying to do anything that would put pressure on my chest or anything like that. So not doing anything crazy still. Recovery's going really good. Um, every now and then I have pain, not pain, like a little throbbing in uh, the area and stuff, but I'm still healing. I mean, I still have a lot more healing to do. It's only been a little over two weeks now. So you need, and of course, Cupcake is here chewing her bone. So if you hear that in the background, that's what that is. Uh, she doesn't leave my side too much, so, <laughs> and I'm okay with that. We have been uploading uh, content onto lovelovefit.com, so um, that's going pr uh, pretty good, um, actually. I'm so happy that, you know, we, we pressed on even through those hard couple months of just not feeling well and filming the content that was so helpful so that I could rest now and just be editing and uploading things instead of uh, putting a lot of pressure to get back to it uh, before the healing uh, happens. Sometimes people, when they do the explant, sometimes they feel immediate difference. And um, for me, in my case, I think that it's kind of happening gradually. Um, either way, I'm okay with it. You do, um, or they say that there is a detox that's going to happen. So um, I feel like I haven't, quite hit that yet um, but I feel like it's coming. I have days that I feel a little bit more tired than others like just waking up from a long sleep and just feeling tired. I, I think that that's just part of the healing process but again you know a lot of the inflammation is starting to go down which is nice. I still have some of my um, inflammation in my eyes and the puffiness and stuff you know that's just it's just going to take time to go down. Um, but it is going down gradually, so I'm excited about that. There are recommended diets out there, and there's a slew of information on um, the Facebook group, and I'll definitely link that below. That's what really gave me gave me a lot of the information about uh, everything I needed to know about BII, t endless, countless testimonies of women um, that are experiencing BII and have explanted. So if you want to know or, or you're considering doing breast implants or you have them or you think that you might have this BII, um, I definitely recommend you going to this website and I'll even put it on the screen <laughs> um, so that you see it. So they have a website and they have a Facebook group and look at both. All the resources are in the website and then um, every single day there's posts on uh, people that are explanting and it's such or have explanted and it's such a great um, not only for information but just knowing that you're not alone um, you know a lot in the medical community it's very slow uh, to acknowledge the more aware that we are the better and it's just awareness just knowing that this is a thing um, and before you go to uh, get a consultation on explant, the more you know, the better. I highly encourage you to join the Facebook group and um, know that 
we're in this together and the the more knowledge that you have of it the more um, armed you are when you go to to see a surgeon uh, because there are surgeons out there that still don't believe in BII and um, there's over a hundred thousand women in this Facebook group it's a very supportive group too I mean prayer warriors and good vibes and you know these are we're strangers but we don't feel like strangers um, you on my explant day I felt like um, I had I had friends that were also going through the same thing so you know my appointment was on uh, January 13th and there was women that also were on January 13th so I feel like I wasn't alone you know when I when I went through uh, the surgery and that makes a huge difference so anyway I'll let you know what happens from here I'm feeling feeling pretty good as you can tell um, I feel like I'm a lot more sane these days and uh, yeah I'm, I'm ready mentally <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to get back uh, to work and, and full force but um, you know I'm trying to I'm trying to ease into it because I don't want to go backwards that's for sure or you know reverse any of, of the healing that I've, that I've gotten through so far so I'm excited about that um, prayer has definitely been something that I've added to my life meditation 